Pikachu. We all know it. We often watch videos on it. Sometimes even upload clips to it. Nick Minute. This is my face of the day. It's just seven years since it started, and no one could have predicted how big YouTube would become. 60 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every single minute. That's five months every hour, 10 years each day. Worldwide, YouTube users watch the equivalent of 340,000 years worth of video per month. Those numbers are hard to comprehend, but the numbers making a lot of sense are the increasing bank balances of YouTubers, profits from their uploads. Is this real life? Hopefully it will be enough to pay for the college. It's keeping them in private school right now. Hundreds of thousands of dollars are being earned in the US and UK. Ad revenue from YouTube and TV commercials has brought them almost half a million dollars. But what about all the way over here in New Zealand? Are we even getting close to that? No. <laughs> Not yet, but at some point it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> going pretty well. Nothing like that, though. Yeah, it's like data is a new oil. It's kind of growing like the internet and just, yeah, it's becoming so big. Data's the new oil. Yeah. I like it. And in this new YouTube era, the data moguls are those with a successful YouTube channel. Hi. Hi. Hey there. They regularly upload videos and attract subscribers. And thank you to the millions of you guys who keep coming back. And now those with enough video hits and subscribers are being invited into a partnership program. You know the little ads that pop up on a video? If you're in the partnership program, every click gets you 60% of that ad revenue. Holy crap. New Zealanders have only been eligible to join the program for just over a year and although they might not be earning six figures just yet, as their numbers of subscribers creeps up, so too does their monthly paycheck. I'm going to do one of my chit chat getting rid of videos. I don't even know how it happened. This is Shannon Harris from Palmerston North, or Shankso as she's known online. She's just 19 and already YouTube's happened for her. I probably get like 100 new subscribers a day. It's her makeup demonstrations that have propelled her into the top spot in YouTube's guru category in New Zealand. I'm kind of like, oh yeah, that's 30,000 people, but I don't really think of it like that. I kind of feel like there's only like 50 people watching me. But then, like, my videos get, like, 10,000 views in three days, and I'm like, where is it coming from? And this is what they're watching. Right, Shannon, so what look are we going for today? I'm going to start experimenting with my naked palette. Excellent. Look forward to it. Demonstration's done just in her bedroom. How many products do you reckon you use in a single look? Tons and tons. <laughs> like 10, 15 different products. If you had one tip to give to people about makeup, what would it be? Wear whatever you want. Don't listen to makeup rules. Just wear as much makeup or as little makeup as you want. Just make yourself feel good. Make yourself feel good. <laughs> yeah. Excellent tip. <laughs> so, are you a trained makeup artist? No. Not at all? No. <laughs> I've never been taught. Do you love it though? Yes. I love makeup. I've loved makeup forever. I can't remember not loving it, even when I was like five. <laughs> Grab somebody sexy, tell them hey, this is where most of her profits get spent. That one is amazing. Restocking for the next video. This one's pretty. Green. That often feature best friend Kelly. Like Kelly was in the shop the other day and there were these girls like, oh my god, it's Kelly from Shannon's videos. I wasn't even with her. Oh my god, you're like the Kardashians of Palmston North. <laughs> so weird. Hoping to tap into some of Shannon's star power is one of her YouTube subscribers. When I'm performing on stage, I really need, you know, that boost of confidence. Christchurch singer Shana King is launching her music career. How did you come across Shannon? Um, well, because she's getting quite well known on YouTube, so she's quite often on the front page. Shana uses Shannon's demos before her performances. 
feeling good and feeling good about the way you look is really important. Um, you know, it gives you that confidence to be able to put on a good show and um, and sing your heart out. Broken hearts again. It's just awesome. It's like it just makes everything worth it. Like all the time and effort putting into that, like the videos and everything. It's just amazing. So have you made a million bucks yet? No. <laughs> How about ten thousand? No. A thousand? <laughs> yeah, definitely a thousand. It takes a while to earn a thousand bucks working in the kitchen of the local RSA, but that's what 16-year-old Corey's been doing as an after-school job to get a bit of pocket money. How much are you earning from your YouTube channel? Around, like, just below a thousand. A month? Yep, this is monthly, yep. He was just 14 when he started his YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome along to another Photoshop tutorial. A how-to on Photoshop and editing programs. Ah, uh, now let's change the colour just to a light grey with that same colour box there. And the subscribers came flocking. 27,000 subscribers, 3.5 million views, and I'm also in the second top gurus for New Zealand. Still, with a year and a half of high school left, he's got big plans for his YouTube channel. 10 million view video views would be pretty good, and then 50,000 subscribers is my goal. And what would that increase your payments to? Probably like, you could almost live off of that. So you're saying YouTube could become your career? Yes, it could. People already have YouTube as their career. I stumbled across a YouTube channel from this character named Akul. Meet Barry from South Carolina. It was just very Hollywood. And when I saw that, I, I knew that's what I wanted. What he wanted was a two-minute promotional video for his company's site. So, Barry, what did you think on your first Skype call and there was this fresh-faced 15-year-old looking back at you? That was kind of funny because I assumed he must have been a college graduate and he must have had experience. And finally, I just said to him, I said, Corey, how old are you? He told me, well, he was, he was 16. And then he confided that, well, he'll be 16 in a few months. And, and it, it was really funny. And I, I, it didn't bother me, though, because he, he has the talent. He, he's got this ability. In fact, I actually think it's pretty cool that I'm working with a 15-year-old. And for Corey, that two-minute video was the same pay as six weeks in his part-time job. How much longer do you think you'll need to be a dishwasher? I probably won't need it for too much longer. How does that feel? It's pretty good. Is this the real life? Hoping to is make a real life success story out of YouTube is Body Matt Mulholland. Igniting his passion for comedy. And music, he's saying. Fuck you to a nine-to-five office job. Is that your general philosophy on things? Yeah, kind of just do what I want to do, basically, is the life goal, yeah. <laughs> and at just 23, he's well on the way. You've got 11,463,192 views. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, like you heard the number set out like that before, it's pretty cool. Boom. Matt uses his God-given talent <laughs> to reach the heights of YouTube notoriety that he has. <laughs> yeah, I just paint every part of a churn. Used to be a grey tower alone on the sea. Be a grey and then just tower. sing it. Dum, dum. Bang, bang, a ling, a clang, clang. Ya, ba, da, ba, da, da, da. So I just recreate, like, the, the drums. <laughs> the bass or the guitar part ding, ding, ding. with my voice and then kind of do that to each part and then just make a, a whole song out of it. On average, how long does it take you to do a song? If it's an easy song, I can do it in a day. But if it's a hard song, it'll take me like a week, depending on you know, the difficulty. In the States, there are guys making hundreds of thousands of dollars off YouTube. Yeah. Are you anywhere close? No, no. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> no, no. no. Not even close, um, but at some point it's, it's going to happen. How far down do we need to go? If they were like 
flying like 747s, I would be probably on one wheel of a scooter, I think. It's probably a good <laughs> analogy. But I've got a goal, a vision of the future where I can buy McDonald's for lunch and stuff. <laughs> and when you buy that McDonald's, one day you'll be able to get the Sunday too. One day I can upsize that. Oh yeah. Like his latest seal rendition. The problem Matt faces, most of his songs are covers. He doesn't own the copyright, so he can't make money off them. As far as my views go, it's probably closer to 90% of my views come from my covers. Um, so that's what people, obviously, is what they want to see. I come along and then do a power and kiss it. Boom! But there's a company in the US that's been in contact with Matt. It's offering to do a deal with record labels so people like Matt could get a cut from all their covers. So theoretically, if this happens, then I could be making, uh, it could be my job. Like I could live off it quite you know, happily. Is that exciting for you? Very exciting, yeah. <laughs> So his take on the famous Batman soundtrack will graduate from playground to paycheck. <laughs> and with his naked ambition realised, we can be sure we'll all be exposed to much more of Matt Mulholland in the future. I mean, what are the limits here? I don't know. The limits are endless, I guess. I and mean, when you look at a lot of people that have been picked up and shot straight into movies, uh, you know, record deals just from YouTube stuff. And with YouTube, I don't even know where it's going to go, but I'm just going to keep trucking along, <laughs> upload my videos and see where it takes me. Yeah, YouTube's definitely a lot easier than scrubbing dishes. Anything can happen, really. On the grid.